Welcome to a significant event weather briefing hosted by the National Weather Service in Glasgow. This will cover a storm system moving through tonight as well as a bigger storm coming this weekend. For tonight, we're looking at mostly rain and freezing rain um, in the evening with pretty icy roads by morning, especially north of Highway 2 where we would expect most of the freezing rain to occur. Uh, the rain is going to change over to snow later tonight, and that will be the snow line from the Little Rockies to Glendive, and then everywhere north and east of there. So less than an inch of snowfall accumulations. Um, the upper right image here is showing the precipitation totals for the next 48 hours, and this kind of bright green is a hundredth of an inch. The darker green is a tenth of an inch, and the much darker green is a quarter inch or more. So you can see northeast Montana in the area we forecast, generally less than a tenth of an inch of precipitation is expected for tonight through tomorrow. Now the much bigger impact storm will be this weekend. You can see on sun Saturday morning we have a low pressure across the western part of the state that's going to start moving through. By Sunday morning, it's moved pretty far. It's moved uh, several hundred miles to the east, and we've got a pretty strong pressure gradient across Montana. The green lines, when they're close together, tend to bring us wind. So again, a pretty fast-moving storm, and that means that we can change over from rain to snow fairly quickly as well. Basically, Saturday evening through Sunday, we're expecting heavy, wet snow. Starting out the storm, easterly winds 20 to 30 miles an hour, gusting to 40 miles an hour. Uh, right now, 5 to 10 inches of snow is what we're looking at. And, you know, Highway 2 from east to west is really kind of the center of the storm. The question right now is, will the heavier amounts be north or to the south of Highway 2? But I would definitely say 4 to 8 inches is possible along the High Line area. So right now we're kind of watching where is the storm going to end up being, but um, Highway 2 is definitely one of the areas to be impacted. The rest of the areas up to the Canadian border and south down towards Glendive and Jordan could still see several inches of snow as well. So it's really nobody is out of the, out of the bullseye for this storm at this time. Some of the impacts we are concerned about is power lines could be problematic if you get that heavy wet snow on them and if you even have a little bit of rain changing to freezing rain before the snow hits. Also people that are traveling this weekend, it's going to be tough. Those have been uh, stranded lately and have been unable to get out really need to do so later this week before the storm hits again. Uh, there are a lot of events going on around the region, including Swish Fest at Malta. There's probably some others as well, but a lot of people do travel on the weekends, and this storm is going to be a problem from Saturday night to Sunday as far as traveling. Uh, so blowing, drifting snow with the east wind.